Man, I've been literally sitting here beating myself up time and time again, making video after video about how I exactly I want to get this out to y'all. So I'm just going to come out and literally go straight to what I want to tell y'all. First and foremost, this dude was trained. If anybody who watched this video, they and, and, and no, I'm not going to um, stop talking about it. No, we shouldn't stop talking about it. If this was our family members, understanding that it just didn't, this didn't happen two years ago. It, even if it did, but it did. And it's not even two months ago. It was more like two weeks that it happened. And I know, rest in peace to the people. My heart truly go out to the folks who lost their lives at the school shooting this uh, past week. But right now, we talking about the people who uh, was murdered in Buffalo at the Walmart. This shooter, y'all, he was trying, y'all. He literally didn't miss no shots. I'm talking about, I watched the video, man. And my, yes, it was like sitting in a cloud full of depression, a cloud full of like anxiety watching this, but I watched it. This dude was so accurate with these shots, man. Obviously, super, like, I don't know what type of um thing you got to go through in the world to embody that type of spirit to carry out acts like this. But he was trained. He was trained. And not only was he trained, he was also in a um, group chat with an ex-federal agent, y'all. This dude was in a group chat with an ex-federal agent and five others, so seven included. And they literally... Obviously, was talking about racist things, right? But get this. The shooter notified them 30 minutes. Allegedly, no, notified them 30 minutes before he carry out, carried out these acts. He let them know where he was going to do it and when. Ex-federal agent plus five others. Civilians, I don't know what their professions, what their status is in this world. But what kind of people... What kind of spirit is is lying underneath that shell that would allow someone or to know these things, to even want this stuff to happen to somebody because of things that they can't change? You didn't get to choose your skin color. We didn't either, black people. I know we're double targeted right now by our own people, but then by this world. This world really even got us targeting our own selves. Can we agree? I know we got to unlearn some things and then we got to relearn some things, but we feel like we have to re unlearn Bible and then re learn something else that uh, relearn other stuff that condemns the Bible. But the Bible is the only thing that's going to let us know what is going on in the world, how we can be covered from it and what's in our will. You know, we praying with God when we love with God, when we work moving with doing the things that he did, giving him us, letting him use this vessel for his greater good then whatever is in the will for his soldier's life, then that will be. But black people, be 100% with ourselves right now. We worried about everything but what's going on. And that's why we in this predicament that we are in in the first place. We was always so thirsty to do this, to do that. We was every, we were worried about everything but God. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. We need to be banding together, man. Um, but definitely, man, I'm going to need y'all to like comment man and definitely subscribe bro because we need to have more important talks and i don't want to be i no more hate your beliefs despite i my god my jesus i'm not religious my jesus isn't a religion let's leave like can y'all if the day that y'all can understand that jesus is salvation the key to heaven and religion don't matter because he's not a religion we only are called Christians because we believe in Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is not a religion. It's Muslim named after uh, like Muslim. Like was that the, the, the name of somebody Muslim? And that's what that like. No, Jesus Christ. They made religion to confuse us. y'all. I'm telling y'all I was where y'all was. In a time of now where we need him and this ain't for everybody. It's not that every very few will search it for and but very few will find it. So it's few searching and a few that's going to find it even out of those that search. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all want to start to pay attention to things like this. We get to play and, and, and laugh and rejoice when we 
when we in heaven, man, but now it's work time. And I know we gotta we gotta take care of the things that we gotta do to get our lives right, but God gonna take care of all that. That's what y'all forgetting. He's going to make sure all of that stuff that y'all think y'all are worried about is going to be taken care of, man. But y'all, man, make sure that this is get around. And it ain't for Jamal. Y'all don't got to like Jamal. It's for us, man. It's for us.